Hi guys, I hope you well. If you don't know who I am, my name is Thomas Blakemore and I'm a teacher here in Dubai. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a Bitmoji classroom through Seesaw. If you're unfamiliar with what Seesaw is, Seesaw is a learning management system that allows teachers to share a range of different learning for children to share their knowledge. Now, if you haven't already seen my Seesaw tutorial, I've created that and uploaded that previously. So if you click on this link up here, it will show you that tutorial. Within this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create the Bitmoji Classroom, similar to what I have previously, but through Seesaw. And what it allows you to do is perhaps better than the previous tutorial before. Seesaw have provided a range of different updates that then allow you to do some really incredible things that I hope to share with you in this tutorial. If you do enjoy the video, please take the time to like it. That's always really appreciated. And if you are new here, I make a range of teaching videos more specifically focused on EdTech recently. So take the time to subscribe for future content. Within the description, you'll also find a range of different free Bitmoji Classroom templates that will become useful within this tutorial, as you will see. So if you find them useful, please take the time to pay it forward by donating to a food bank, as I know many families out there in the world will be struggling at the moment. I have also included my buy me a coffee link. That's there, although it's not something I expect. So let's jump straight into the tutorial. So a big welcome to the Seesaw Bitmoji Classroom tutorial that will be fantastic for your class. Now, if you've not already seen my Seesaw tutorial or you're unfamiliar with Seesaw, please take the time to go and watch the first video that I created showing you how to use Seesaw. It is a bit of a prerequisite for this video as it will help you understand Seesaw further. If you have already seen that video, you will be familiar with this, which is the example YouTube class that I showed you to share work with example children. So what we're going to do for the purpose of this video is create a Bitmoji Classroom. I'm going to show you how you would then share that with the children and if you want to, for the children to then be able to create their own using the template that you set. Now there's a range of ways you can do this. If you don't want the children to create their own, you would just simply post student work uh, that the children would then comment on. A sign activity then allows the children to complete their own bit of working and share their learning and bits and pieces like that. So we're going to click on that one for now and as I said before, the advantage with Seesaw is that it is free. So everything that I'm showing you now is something that you can go and do straight away from here with this free learning management system. So we're going to start off with our activity name, which is Bitmoji Classroom and student instructions, a bit like Google Classroom, you can share instructions. What I like about Seesaw is that you can add voice instructions too. Now, the multimedia instructions is your way of sharing a photo, drawing, you can share a video, but we're going to focus on this drawing element. After we've done that and we've created our own Bitmoji Classroom for the, uh, for the children to have a look at, we're then going to share a template for the children to either create their own or to adapt in some way with whatever you choose. So to start off with, let's have a look at how you create. So we're going to go to uh, create and attach a drawing. And when we get to that, you can see a range of options on the side text. You can see voice recording down here. You've got a range of other things. This is a great option where you can add a voice caption. So that would help the children understand bits and pieces or some instructions that you want them to complete. So we're going to have a look at the creating the Bitmoji Classroom and there's a few bits and pieces that we need to start off with. We need remove BG because that's going to help us with some of the pictures. We will also need some of the templates that I've included in this video, but I included it in my first interactive Bitmoji tutorial and the link is there if you can't already find that. And then that will take you to this. So this is one of the examples. And if you don't want to use those, that's okay. There are some available here. Just be wary of, of copywriting um, different watermarks and things like that. So we can find the one we want to include and we're going to paste it in there. Now it's not quite fitting in the same way that it did before. We're just going to drag it across like that. And that is our background. Now I'm not overly keen by the way it's too pixelated. So for now, I'm going to use the one that I've already included. Now you will need to screenshot this. So you either use the snipping tool if you're on Windows or you press Command Shift 4 if you're on a MacBook and you can then just take a screenshot as I'm showing you here. Now I've just dragged and dropped this template onto the background. What you can also do is from here, you can upload from your downloads that you've just downloaded that image from. So here is an example that we can start to adapt and have a look at. So let's say we've got our bookshelf here that we want to add a book of some sorts or an active read along. 
I'm going to just attach a, a bit of a website, a really great website, and that's Vooks. Vooks has a range of different storybooks that are brought to life, and I want a bit of a an image. So I'm just going to put uh, Vooks. I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to paste it into my bookshelf here. Change it a little bit. Now, as with everything, you can change the rotation. If I wanted to, I can also uh, duplicate it. I can change the order, bring to front, center, back. We're going to look at this link section here, which is really fantastic. So link, it asks, asks you to insert a website URL. We're going to insert the VOOCs URL. And we'll just insert that there so that when the children click onto it, you can see there the link is already included. And that would be fantastic for the children to access. If we wanted to also include other bits and pieces like uh, a bit of a background or a picture, uh, we could type in motivational quote. And we can copy this image just here. Insert it in. It's all very gray. So I want shapes as well. This is another great feature. I'm going to include the shape. I'm going to change the color. Shift me out of the way. To white. So I've got a bit of a frame going on. Change the size of the frame. And as I did with the other thing, I'm going to Send it to the back. But then I'll also need to send that to the back too. So it's a bit more fiddly than Bitmoji Classrooms due to the way that they're ordered. You can see here, we've got a frame. Just make sure you shift that background back too. Um, now, if you wanted to link that, you can also link that to something. Uh, you can also link uh, a book. So let's say we go to uh, Harry Potter. And we can insert that in as well. Now, on this Wizarding World page, there's actually a Daniel Radcliffe read-along. So I'm just going to use this because I want the children to listen to Daniel Radcliffe read the book. And I'm going to, again, link that in there like that. If I wanted to decorate this further, I could include a plant pot clip art. And I really like this one here. Now, you will notice that when I press paste, it has that white background that we don't want. So because the white background's there, what we're going to do instead is we're going to save the image, download seven, and we're going to upload it to remove BG. So once you've done that, you can copy the image, and then when you go back through to Seesaw, you can paste that in, and I'll just put it there. And you can do that with all sorts of things, whichever has a, a background. So now we've got two items which have links. We also have something where we've removed the backgrounds and we've also got a bit of a picture that is set up too. Now, if you chose to, and you're on something like an iPad, you could also then write bits of work. What we've done here is completed our own Bitmoji classroom, but there's one thing missing, which of course is our Bitmoji. So here, we're going to tap onto the Bitmoji add-on. If you're confused on how to add that in, I've made a range of different tutorials showing you how to add that in. And if you want to find one of you stood up, you just search pose or sit. And you, there's a range of different ones. We're gonna stick with pose for now. And from here, we're just going to find one that suits. So I want the children to know that there is an activity to complete. So I'm going to click onto this. You won't be able to drag and drop like you have done previously. You're going to copy image and just paste that in. And you can see already the background is removed. So then and have it pointing. And then once you've done that, you can then add in, uh, you could have him link to something, you could add a, a video in explaining what the activity is for today. And there's so many different bits and pieces that you could do. You could then write on the top of this. Um, if you have some sort of iPad 
of course, Seesaw is an iPad application so that you can then add annotations onto this a little bit easier. You can do this on a computer, but my writing's not so good. So just add a smiley face on. There we go. And you've got all sorts of different pens. Again, this is about as artistic as it gets. You can then change the color of the pens. So again, this is something you can't really do with Google Slides. Once you're happy and finished, make sure you press the tick button and that will take you back to the create a new activity that you saw before. And then you can also add a template similar to what we did before, where you say, right, the children are going to complete their own. So now you can see that this is a template for the children to create their own Bitmoji classroom. If that was an activity that you wanted them to complete and they could add their own Bitmoji, if that was something that you wanted them to, there's lots of different options available. They could add their own links in and you could add instructions for the children to complete this activity here too. You could add it as text, you could add a picture, you could add, uh, a link to something else. You can add captions, which is a fantastic way of giving instructions too. But then the children can complete this activity too. And you press tick as this is the activity that the children are going to complete. Once you've done that and you've put the instructions that you need to, then you're going to go down and you're simply going to save it. And then I would need to assign it change the folders if needed. So this is going to be an English activity. No, it's not maths because it's got the uh, calculations. And then we're going to assign it to one class. And there we go, we've assigned the activity. So now you can see the activity is assigned to the pupils. Again, if you wanted the children not to do anything and to complete their own template, you would just simply post it as student work and then you can just share uh, updates and links through that too. And that marks the end of the tutorial. If you find this video useful, please hit the time to like it. That's always really appreciated. And if you are new around here, please hit the time to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss future content related to teaching and traveling. If you also think this will be useful for someone else, please take the time to share this video and check out some of my other videos related to EdTech that I will link after this video finishes. Hopefully I will see you in the next one, but until then, I'm out.